Hello everybody, welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at grouped frequency tables. A grouped frequency table looks like this. This table shows the height of plants in my garden. And as you can see, there are three plants between 0 and 10 centimetres tall. There are five, five plants between 10 and 20 centimetres tall. There are six between 20 and 30 centimetres tall. And there are 11 plants between 30 and 40 centimetres tall. And there are two plants, only two, between 40 and 60 centimetres tall. OK. So we're going to work out the average, the mean, and the modal class of uh, this information. First, we're going to add a column for the midpoint. So in the exam, you'll probably have to draw this column on yourselves. It's the midpoint of the class. From 0 to 10, the midpoint between 0 and 10 is 5. Between 10 and 20, the midpoint is 15. Between 20 and 30, the midpoint is 25. To work this out, you just do the smaller number plus the bigger number and divide by 2. 30 plus 40 is 70, divided by 2 is 35. 40 plus 60 divided by 2 is 50. We've added the midpoint column. Now we add one more column and that we call fx. That's a frequency times a midpoint. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 15 is 75. 6 times 25 is 150. 11 times 35, you can do it on your calculator, is 385. And 2 times 50 is 100. Okay. Now, we add another column for those totals. We add up the total frequency. 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 11 plus 2 is 27. And we add up all the fx. 15 plus 75 plus 150 plus 385 plus 100 is 725. Again, just use your calculator for these. To work out the mean, we do the uh, sum of the fx divided by the sum of the frequency. So 725 divided by 27. Tap into your calculator, you will get 26.85. Okay, that's the mean, that's the hard one. Uh, now we work at the modal class. This means the most common class, like the mode. And that will be the class with the highest frequency, which is here. 11 is the highest frequency. Uh, and that class is 30, is less than or equal to x, is less than 40. Okay, so you're just choosing the class that is the most common. That's all from today's video. I've shown you some examples on how to work out mean and the model class uh, of this. I'd like you to pause the video now and I'd like to try this question yourself. Work out the mean and the model class for this data here. It will take you about five minutes, so make sure you pause the video and try it uh, yourself slowly, slowly. If you need to rewatch the video, that's fine. Watch it one more time before you try this question. Okay, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. How did you do in today's video? Thanks for watching. Uh, we have plenty more videos coming every week uh, for all of secondary maths. So remember to like and subscribe to don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.